Well, good morning and welcome to today's vlog. I'm so excited. Today, I am going to be starting my Valentine's Day vlog. So today is actually Monday, February 13th, one day post Super Bowl. That was a rough ending. I'm gonna combine it in two days just so I have the opportunity just to show you all the activities that we're gonna be doing. And then obviously tomorrow with our whole Valentine's Day event. So I did actually come into school on Saturday. Um, I haven't done that in a really long time because I don't like doing that, but it was only for fun stuff and it was only for like, 45 minutes. So I came in and I decorated the classroom for Valentine's Day. So let me just show you what we've got going on. So I didn't go like all out, but I do have balloons along the windowsill here with their Valentine's Day bags that they decorated down below. I came in and I did streamers all along the like front half of our room. And then over there, I just have like a pink tablecloth taped up. And that is where our little photo booth is going to be. I got some like props and accessories and we'll be able to take some cute Valentine's Day pictures. I'm so pumped. Um, we are gonna do our Valentine's, Valentine's Day like celebration during social studies tomorrow. So I've got a few activities planned that I'm so excited about. So let me just pull up my plans real quick just to make sure that I'm remembering, remembering everything. So we are going to do the pass the heart challenge. This was forwarded to me from my teammate and it's like all over Instagram right now. I saw a couple people posting about it already where you give each student a big heart with their name in the middle and then you pass them around or like the students move around like musical chairs and they will write like a kind thing to that person on their heart. So then when they get back to their heart, then they can see like all the nice things that their classmates said about them. So I'm really excited to do that. I like cut out all the hearts this weekend and got the kids names on them. Then we're gonna do Valentine's Day bingo. I found this on TPT. It was like kind of pricey. It was like five dollars um which i don't normally do but i'm gonna have my teacher's aide laminate this so that i can use it for like multiple years to come and i particularly went with this one um it's from speech sprouts by the way um because we are studying poetry in our ela curriculum right now and the little um they're riddles and they rhyme so i'm like oh rhyming that goes in with our poetry unit so i thought it was cute so we'll do that after that. And I do have some like random Valentine's Day prizes that I've gathered over the years, like bubbles and stress balls and stuff like that. So I'll be giving out prizes to the bingo winners. Um, we'll obviously do our Valentine's Day like card candy exchange where the kids will be able to get their bags down and be able to look at everything that they got and maybe enjoy a piece of candy or two. Um, and then we'll finish off like while they're doing that Valentine's Day exchange with our Valentine's Day photo booth. So that's like our little chunk of celebration. I'm so excited. We also have um, an assembly tomorrow, so it'll be like a super busy day, um, but it should be a good one. And I'm really looking forward to it. I was so excited when I came in here on Saturday, just getting so excited for what's to come this week. I feel like Valentine's Day with kids is so much fun. Oh, and I did edit my morning meeting slides to be all themed. So this is our slide for tomorrow. Normally I just have like my rainbow border around it, but I'm like, let's go all out tomorrow. Make it Valentine's-y. And another thing, I feel like a lot of my like excitement for our Valentine's Day celebration is the fact that for our Christmas party, because it got canceled and then postponed to like mid-January on like a random weekday, it was like not, <laughs> It wasn't feasible for me to like go all out and decorate everything. Like I would have done it if our day had not been canceled, but it was. So now I feel like I'm just pouring everything into Valentine's Day, which is great and fun. But yeah, as far as today goes, <laughs> um, cause that's all for tomorrow. Today we have our chapter 10 math test. We are doing fractions. We did our review last Friday and the kids did really, really well on it. So. I am optimistic for today's test. Um, in social studies today, I don't know what we're doing actually. I was like in bed last night after watching the Super Bowl and I was like, I'll figure it out tomorrow. So I have one activity from last week that I didn't get to. So I'll probably just pull that out. It's about James Buchanan and like a three, two, one graphic organizer, like three facts, two interesting, whatever. Um, so that should be pretty simple and straightforward. ELA is also very simple. We are doing our developed vocabulary activity, which is in our ELA textbooks from my view where they um, just practice their vocab words for the week. 
and then also their develop, no, not develop, check for understanding, which is four comprehension questions related to the stories, well, the poems that we read last week. So that's what we'll do in ELA. I'll probably pull small groups today and then they have music to end the day. We do have a fire drill during music, so I need to figure out like how that works. Like, do I meet them outside on the other side of the building? I don't know, I'll ask a teammate. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I will be doing some work this morning cause I still have close to an hour before kids come, which is really nice. Um, and then I'll check in later if I've got anything to report. Hi, hello. Um, it's the end of the day. Well, not quite. The kids are at special. It's 2.30. Um, I didn't feel the need to check in at all today just because it was like a pretty normal day. Nothing to report. Um, but now I've got an hour that I'm going to be able to get some stuff done. I graded most of the math tests. I didn't like score them based on standards, but I did just get like the last few from the learning support teacher. So I want to grade those. I also did just turn on the laminator because... My teacher's aide did not get a chance to laminate these today. She was caught up doing other stuff. So I will laminate these. We also are going to have a fire drill at three o'clock, which the music teacher will take my class out for the fire drill. That's fine. I just don't want to be in the middle of like laminating when it goes off. So I want to try to like strategically plan this. So I'll give it a few more minutes to warm up and then I'll head back and hopefully it'll be ready to do these. Um, so I will just grade these real quick and then head on over to laminate. Okay, so I got the math test graded, not scored. I wish I would have scored them because I came up and the laminator is still not heated up. Ugh, I wish it didn't take so long. Um, but I'll just wait up here because hopefully it won't be too much longer. We got a whole stack of stuff. We are 20 minutes away from when the fire drill is supposed to happen. So I really hope that this gets done quickly. Maybe I'll grab the math tests and score them up here. I just don't want to waste time, you know? Come on. Okay, so it's all laminated. It heated up like immediately after I stopped that clip. So that worked out nicely. And just as I put the last sheet in, my teacher's aide popped in and was like, do you know with anything? I'm like, uh, do you want to cut this stuff? And so she's cutting that now, uh, which frees up the rest of my time because that was a lot of cutting. Um, so let's see, there's about 10 minutes or so till the fire drill. So I'm trying to think, I think I'll score those math tests. Yes, I will. Um, <laughs> I'll get those done. So then I can enter those grades on Sapphire and then I'll see what I can get done after that. Okay, so I am heading out now. I'm sorry I didn't check in again. Um, I was pretty productive during special, which was super nice. Um, but I gotta like rush out of school today because I gotta take my Ollie pup to the vet for his one year appointment with like all his booster shots and everything. So I am gonna rush home, take him. I will check back in uh, tomorrow morning when I get to school. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. I've got on my Valentine's Day tea, I have my Valentine's earrings, and I'm just so excited for today. So excited for today. Um, <clears throat> it is 7.20 right now, and we have a faculty meeting at eight. I got here nice and early so that I could have some time before that faculty meeting. Um, first thing I need to do is send a IEP form to our learning support teacher. I was a big dumb idiot and said like, here's the attached form without sending the attached form. I love myself. Um, so I'm gonna do that first so she can have that. And then the only thing that my teacher's aide didn't get to cut yesterday were the cards. So I will 
cut those out this morning and then we'll go from there and see what else we have time for. Oh, so excited for today. Okay, so I just finished cutting all of those things and I also just realized that I don't have any bingo chips. So I'm gonna look in like my math manipulatives and see if there's anything up there and uh, hope for the best. Oh bless, we've got counters out the wazoo. Let me see if they're like small enough to fit the spaces. I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, we are all set for the morning. I am going to go ahead to my meeting and I will check in later. All right, so we have made it to lunchtime. The assembly was so fun this morning. The kids really enjoyed it. Um, and then by the time we got back, we only had 13 minutes for math class. So we got like a little bit done. Um, we're starting our new chapter today about um, measurement. So today's lesson is like a two part. We're measuring to the nearest inch and to the nearest half inch. So before the kids went out to recess, we covered to the nearest inch. So when they come back in, we'll cover to the nearest half inch. Um, and then I just put together like a math checklist for them to do because I don't think we will have time to get through many stations uh, by the time we finish our whole group lesson. So this is what the checklist is looking like. They'll start by doing a seesaw activity that looks like this. Then they'll do an IXL, which is measuring to the nearest inch. They'll like move the ruler up, line it up, all that kind of stuff. And then they'll finish with, nope, not that, extra math. And then I'm hoping, ooh, this sun is not great. And then I'm hoping that while they are working on those independent things, I can pull kids over so they can actually like get a physical ruler in their hands and practice measuring stuff. I wanna do it like together first so that if they're making errors, like lining up at the end of the ruler instead of at the zero or at the one instead of the zero, like I can address them right away. Um, and then yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a much more normal math lesson. But with that assembly this morning that took so much of our time, we're just, we're just kind of weird today. That's the plan for math. During social studies today, we're gonna do our Valentine's Day stuff, which I talked which I talked about yesterday. Um, super excited for that. Um, we'll do our little photo booth and everything. Um, and then like our ELA and writing is like pretty normal this afternoon. This is a short week because we have off on Friday. It's like a trade-off day. So like I worked in the, a day in the summer of in-service, so I don't have to work on Friday. And then Thursday's an early dismissal day. So we only have one more full day and then a short day on Thursday for this week. So yeah, just trying to get stuff done before then. So I'm like looking forward to our Valentine's Day stuff and just being productive for the rest of the day. Holy moly, I'm so tired. <laughs> we made it, it's 3.45, the last kid just left. Oh my goodness, it was such a fun day, but I have the worst headache right now. It was just so chaotic and fun all afternoon, and I'm just, wow. Um, all the Valentine's Day stuff went great. It did go long, so it like cut into our ELA time, which is fine. It's just one day a year, and we still got through everything I wanted to. Um, so it was a lot of fun. The um, Valentine's Day bingo went really well. The photo shoot or photo booth was so cute. I wish I could show you the pictures. Maybe I'll like pop one up with their faces covered. So cute. Um, they loved exchanging their Valentines and whatnot. And the Pass the Heart Challenge, which I did was super cute as well. Um, I'm trying to remember if I even like showed you stuff. <laughs> I like, can't even remember what has been going on. I'm so out of it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, eating some chocolate because that's what today is all about, isn't it? And then I'm gonna head home pretty soon because I need to make a couple stops at like the pharmacy and then the grocery store uh, to pick up a soda for tonight because my husband and I are doing <laughs> Papa John's heart-shaped pizza for Valentine's Day. I've requested that like four or five years ago when we were dating and we have continued the tradition ever since. I'm just so excited for it. He's picking up the pizza, I'm picking up the soda, and I'm pumped. Oh my goodness, look at those. On another note, I'm so tired after this day. This is straight exhausting. I don't have a single clue what I'm teaching tomorrow. Not a single clue. So that'll be my job tonight to figure out. But yeah, it was a crazy day, crazy fun day. Such a good time, but honestly ready to get back to normal tomorrow because you know, one day, that's enough, <laughs> enough craziness. 
we love a routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up here, just do some like cleaning up in the room before I head out. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this Valentine's Day vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.